Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Space Gaming, and today I'm going to be playing some more Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. Let, let's get into it. Okay, so I got the log. I remember that. Let's see. No, not that button. I'm forgetting all the buttons. There we go. Uh, might help to find the crew of the sea unicorn who should be somewhere on, at Baker Street. So I gotta, I gotta go to Baker Street then. Got it. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the sea unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. Mm -hmm. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. <laughs> ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? <laughs> yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. Jeez. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? I was gonna say, how do you summon a bunch of kids? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Us. Oh, oh, little doggy. Brave Toby, the best nose in the British Empire. Oh, Toby, that's a good name. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Awesome. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Hmm. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. Okay. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but Ooh. the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Why? Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. You could have just called. Do they have telephones here? Do they, do they have telephone? I mean, I, I, I would assume so. I would assume they do, but I'm not seeing anything that looks even remotely like a telephone. Nothing. Nothing. No telephones. Apparently they don't. I really do, and I was completely A map of London and the surrounding area. It could be useful. Okay, so what do I got to do now? The straw might have some news. So I ha have some new facts about the case. So I'm going to go back to Scotland Yard. Okay. Let's see what the Shroud wants. Whoop. Did the game mess up? Mr. Arms, oh, no, I'm we're glad good. to see hey. you. As always, what happened? <laughs> we have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. Oh. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Okay. Interesting. Great hell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. That's not good. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Ah, oh, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room. At your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, right? Mm, breathtaking. <laughs> hmm. Why would the guy be prowling around the Lee, the Lee estate or whatever? Why would they be prowling around there and then, and then writing a letter? That, that doesn't make any sense. These are the suspect's belongings. Liam Hurtley's old boots. They're a size nine and a half. Oh, I can go back to the uh, to the estate and look and see if this guy's boots matches the the uh, footprints. Why can't I look at this? The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. 
a pen. Nothing unusual about it. Okay, so do I go talk to this guy now? Oh, he's not in here. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are, and exactly what happened that you should be brought here? My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. Why are we well, prowling around? We shall the, see. The estate. Hmm. With crest, crested something. That plant remains. Gardener's hands. Wait a minute. I did it. Why? I mean, I did it, so I guess that's it. I can't back out of it. Did it glow? There we go. Old scar. Ooh, I just saw that. Ooh. That's all for now. Ooh, that changed. Ooh, that made me sick. Okay, so I think I need to go back to the estate. No, sorry, not to the... Oh, yeah, Woodman's Lee. Okay, I was kind of right. I need to go back to the estate and then do the, um... Do, do, do the boots. And then I need to go back to Baker Street to do the chemical thingy. Yeah, so that's what I gotta do. Sounds, sounds good. Not that. Examine. These they match. match the footprints exactly. Uh oh. Not that. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Unexplained presence. Liam Hurtley's boots matched the footprints at Woman's Lee, thus proving that he was there. Judith Carey denies that he was their gardener. Is she still here? Can I talk to her? Can I talk to her? Is she still here? She's right there. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. Not making eye contact. Thank you, madam. Okay, that was a bust. Okay, so now I need to go to Baker Street and take care of the chemical thingy on the thing. <laughs> Hey, Watson. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent 
should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless no. reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Okay. Oh. I might skip it. I'm going to try it first, but... Reset, hang on. I'm thinking this then he said blue. I'm thinking it has to be both blue and both oranges. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Dang it! Okay, maybe green's last. Maybe it's blue. And then everything, and then green is last. Or maybe I'm getting it mixed up. Maybe he said orange first and then blue. No, something isn't right. Uh. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Okay, I'm gonna try the orange this time and if that doesn't work then I'm just gonna skip it. No, something isn't right. What? I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Uh, okay, I'm gonna skip it. I did as you asked and hit them well, but I beg you to reconsider. And I, well, I remember our vows. I have done nothing dishonorable for which you me. That's weird. This doesn't really help me. It's a tough one. What is he trying to hide? Maybe... Wait, what did that say about? John Negan seems not to be a usual thief. Okay. Um... It's kind of fun. We're just trying to hide. Maybe I can go talk to him now about the about the uh, about the uh, the note I just found. Maybe. Okay. Let's go see if I can talk to him. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. <laughs> the second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? Mm -hmm. That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. But why were you there? 
Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't yeah. remember. What would I be doing there anyway? I don't know, you tell me. Well kept garden. Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed <laughs> your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most mm -hmm. obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right, you got me. Yes, yes. I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. Then why did you want to hide this information? So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? I did as you asked and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. Well... <laughs> You're a smart one, but it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will what about check vows? that, Mr. Hurtley. What about vows or whatever? That's all for now. Hurtley's sense. stories are false leads, but now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. Okay. Talk to him. I can't go talk to him. How is the investigation going, Mr. Rhymes? Do you have any idea who the murderer is yet? Okay, that didn't help. Okay, where is the tool? Where are the tools kept then? Hmm. Is it up here? Locked. Ah. Where are the tools kept then? Can I ask her? Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. It is the key to open it. Yay! I was right. Thank you, madam. I was right. I was right. Let's see what could be hidden here. Hmm. I don't see anything special. I see absolutely nothing special. Wait. What did it say? Wooden planks. Ill-fitting plank. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. It's the box from the from the thing. Let us see what is in this box. Rotate the locks, cylinders to form a complete line. Please note that some lines are deceptive. This is confusing. Is 
Then down like that. Oh, I did it! Oh! Yay! Didn't- okay, that works. Bunch of letters. A bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hurtley oh, and let's Mrs. Her. Carey were in a relationship. <gasps> that is interesting. He had motive to kill him. Liam, my dear, you have been so good to me all this time that I have all the time that I've known you. I cannot describe these feelings, but I suppose that they are simple and no good can come from them. I fear what might happen. I fear going against God. I thank you for your care, but I cannot leave the man with whom I have been bound by God. It is his divine will, and thus my husband is the cross that I must bear. He makes my life a living heck, but bruises fade and you must not worry for me ah so the guy was beating on his wife no wonder this guy had probable cause for killing that for, for uh liam had pro had probable cause for killing uh the the guy whose name i don't remember oh let's talk to her now oh poor woman Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? You're not exactly, you know, crying. What? I did! Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? There we go. Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I... I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after... what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... after what he has done. You believe that he killed your husband? No, I do I, not know. I do not I wouldn't put, know. Leave I wouldn't put it past alone, him. Please. No, we have to find out what's going on. Thank you, madam. I wonder no, if Wiggins to... has managed to find any sailors. We, we have to... Mm. Desperate jealousy. Liam Hartley loved Judith Carey so desperately that he that his jealousy could have provoked him into committing murder. Oh, here we go. Uh, Liam Hartley's relationship with Judith Carey gives him a motive for killing Peter Carey. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It does. Okay, so now I'm going back to Baker Street and see if Wiggins and his gang has any information on the sailors. Mr. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you gave us. Yay. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. So what does this mean? This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. Patrick Green, Talbot. Talbot, that sounds familiar. This is interesting. No, Let us review not. the other sailors now. He died a this week ago? This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. Okay, Let shut up. Let us review the other sailors now. This man is a harpooner. Harpooner. And his initials are PC. The same Ooh. initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. Wiggins, could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. Some time later. Perfect. We found Patrick Kens. Good job, awesome. Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch Pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Excellent. Mm. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir.
There we go. If the pouch belongs to Patrick Cairns, it indicates his presence at the crime scene, but it must still be proven. Yes. If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. Oh, time to dress up. Time to dress up. Okay, dress up as a sailor. Okay. There we go. I better. There. And then I'll just keep his hair the same. But actually, eh, right, nah, right there. Got it. Now I can approach cans. And see if he recognizes the pouch. I wanted to make sure I definitely couldn't tell we were Sherlock Holmes. Okay, so now we're gonna go to uh, the Sea Witch Pub. Got it. Oh, this looks bad. He said he's always arm wrestling, so. I talk to oh really okay that's weird hello there are you Cairns <laughs> what do you want his voice sounds weird we've well, heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here you seem like the likely sort and I'm up for it what no Stop I don't want to arm wrestle Ted shillings suits me I don't I don't want to do it Follow Patrick Cairns' first expressions to understand his moves. Push, restrain, idle, and plan your counter strategy. Pay attention to your stamina. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> Come on, no. 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 Ah. That's the arm that killed a hundred whales. Care to lose another ten shillings? Sure. I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that. Instead of watching his facial expressions, it didn't really give me anything. If it, if it looks like I'm gonna lose, then I'm just gonna. I can't even get his hand even over that way, even remotely. I'm getting it that way just a little bit. Come on. Come on. Let me get it. Skip. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. I don't want to lose. <laughs> I don't want to 
Lucky. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. What? Oh, yeah, let's do this first. Gold earring. Cheap clothes. Strong hands. Yellow nails. Ew. Sailor's tattoo. I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no Do I have to do it again to get on his good side, maybe? Well, good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. I'd like to buy you a drink. Good winner oh, I, as oh, well. Oh, that's good. That's good. Let's have a drink. Awesome. You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well. At least you're not as poor as me. Hmm. Why do you say poor? You're not working. I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So, as a result, I find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. A harpooner? Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Bold Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger. We sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Hmm. Black Peter, you say? I've heard rumors about that one. He was the worst of them all. <laughs> he was a liar, and violent too. Swinging those fists of his around. A tyrant and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. I see. Yes. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Which is? Tell me, and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that okay. year. Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn. And I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her, and he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she had foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. Okay. And who was he? I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. That's strange enough. Oh, yeah. Is that mm, Nelligan's dad, maybe? Nelligan, mm, whatever his he name disappeared. is? Nobody knew what happened to him. And of course, nobody could ask Black Peter about it. You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. Those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. All right? Of course. Hmm. 
Plant pouch. Back in okay, a awesome. Are you most of the I'll be here with my drink. Oh, I don't like this. Here it is. Have you got any tobacco? I've run out of mine. Nah, That's cool. lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, oh. Uh, oh, it is. He did do it. He did! Well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab's his name. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe, if you like, I. I'm done here. It's time to leave. Oh my gosh, so the guy actually... Oh, I did something. All right, uh, it is Mick from that Liam Hurtley was flirting with Peter Carey's wife and even fell in love, but it didn't go beyond the affectionate but harmless letters and words. Liam Hurtley loved to care so desperately that his jealousy. I mean, yeah, but I have a feeling this guy did it, so I don't want to. Liam Hurtley's relationship with Judith Carey gives him a motive for killing Peter Carey. Uh, first that Wilmer's Lee on the night of the murder is suspended by his affection towards Judith Carey and the fact that he worked there as a gardener. There we go. Okay. So... What's say uh, do you know? Do I have to go back to Scotland Yard? Maybe- oh, I was gonna say, maybe I should change first, but okay, we did. We did. I'm talking to him and tell him what I found. How is the uh, investigation going, Mr. Rose? Do you have any idea who the murder- Yes, I do, but... Can I talk to him? What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. I'm not saying another word. Uh, what do I do now then? I don't know what to do now because I am thoroughly confused. All right, let's go to Woodman's Lee. Okay, I think it's that guy, the guy that I was talking to at the pub or whatever. Is there something here that I missed, maybe? I, I think it was him, but I don't know what to do. Is she just still crying? Sorry to upset you, ma'am. Leave me alone, please. Okay, jeez. Sorry. Hmm. Do I have to go? I can't go back and talk to that guy either. I think it was this, like this guy, Patrick Cairns. So he's a he's a smoker. Oh, okay. Hmm. About to Baker Street, maybe? Yeah, the guy said about 1883. My archive. Uh, I can always consult with it if needed. This is where I keep my post. Keep it stabbed with a knife? Hmm. Okay, Watson, I'm stuck. I need some help. You met Patrick Cairns, the harpooner? 
Do you believe he's the yes. murderer? Ah. You met Patrick Cairns, the harpooner. Do you believe he's the okay, murderer? I don't know what to do here. Cairns has affirmed that the pouch belongs to him. This means that he was at the scene of the murder, uh, at, of the murder and thus proves his guilt. Cairns has affirmed that the pouch belongs to him. This means that he was at the scene of the murder. He does not necessarily prove that he is the murderer. I think he did it because he hated his his uh, boss. I think it was him. Hurtley is guilty. Hurtley? No, I, not not Hurtley. No, I wanted the guy. Not Hurtley. Good God, not Hurtley. No wait. Feet of strength. No, it. Mm. No, I I think it's. Eh, this is annoying. Nimoy's boots match the footprints of women's lead, thus proving that he was there. Uh. I mean, it is kind of weird for him to be there, though. Conclusions. It murdered Peter Carey. The motive was jealousy and his love for, Car for Carey's wife. I mean, it does seem... I know, he, he could have done it too. He could have done it too. All right. I think it was him. He could have done it too because uh, Peter Carey was beating his wife, so he could have done it to protect her. So. Liam Hurley murdered Peter Carey, the motive for jealousy, and the stuff for Carey's wife. Absolve. Uh, mine was clouded by a suffragette's carry, Peter's wife. This murder was a crime of passion under emotional duress. Nevertheless, he must answer to the law for what he's done or has been found guilty of the murder of Peter Carey. He must be punished by the law of all... In, no, it's okay. Uh, absolve. Let's... Let, let's absolve. Yes, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with my choice. The case is solved. I am now ready to present the guilty party. So tell me, who killed Black Peter? It was Liam Hurtley. That doesn't surprise me. I've never seen a guiltier looking fellow. He was in love with Judith Carey. It caused a conflict that proved fatal for her husband. I see. Come on now, let us confront him. Yep, let's do it. Liam Hurtley, it was you who killed Black Peter. He learned of your relationship with his wife, and he asked that you meet him to share in a drink. Then began the quarrel. He drew his knife, and in self-defense, you took up the harpoon. Lestrade, please put that in your report. I deny everything. You have no proof. Calm down and thank your stars that Mr. Holmes just saved your neck. Yeah. The case is resolved, Inspector. I shall return to Baker Street. Very well, Mr. Holmes. Goodbye for now. That was anticlimactic. Okay, uh, Liam Hartley murdered Peter Carey, but it was in self-defense against an armed and furious drunken sailor. The murder was the kind of passion. Hartley's mind was clouded by his love for Judith Carey, Peter's wife. You have decided to ease his sentence. Right, accept decision. This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. Oh, we're going in the countryside. Hmm. As your friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, bird watching, chopping wood. Sounds intolerable. I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. <laughs> but you haven't yet told me who your friend is. The one we're going to visit. He is a bee lover. A bee lover? Do you mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. Hudson, bringing the warm cloth that I requested. Warm cloth? There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. I have no time. Send whoever it is away. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. 
Who's this? Mycroft. Mycroft. <sighs> Sherlock. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. <laughs> I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. Oh. We're about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. What? There are people who presently threaten both our country and the crown itself. You must help us with those methods of yours. Need? Help? Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. Get a point. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm yeah. not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can assure you. Jeez. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. Oh, shoot. Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry Men. A band of idealistic terrorists. Yes. Sherlock, do please think about it. They are planning something diabolical. Your country needs you. You need me, Mycroft, and you are not the country. Although, if your waistline expands very much further... Mrs. Hudson, tea will not be necessary. Dr. Watson, the train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Nice. Sherlock, enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do please at least write to me on your return. Hmm. Wow. That was something. Wow. Family drama. <laughs> Okay, everybody, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, then be sure to smash the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. And hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever I post videos. So you do not miss anything here on Spigs Gaming. And you do not miss any more of Sherlock Holmes' Crimes and Punishments. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.